The Holy Spirit is God Almighty. Anyone who does not know him does not know the Lord because he is the Spirit of the Lord. And the scriptures declare that he is the revealer of truth, the active agent in all works of redemption. And that's why today I want to talk to you on this Friday about the Holy Spirit so you would know his presence and power in your life. He is the fullness of grace in the experience of salvation. In him and through him and by him is the power that saves. He is the one who illuminates, convicts, leads to repentance, sanctifies. And without him, we cannot know the word of God or understand it because he holds the key, the very key to all truth. He is the spirit of truth and we cannot know the Lord without him. Imagine, we cannot even say Jesus is Lord without him. The Christian life is impossible without him. So we have to cry, come blessed Holy Spirit. And I'm talking to you today from my heart because I want you to know him. I really want you to know him. He's the one who conceived the Son of God. He's the one who anointed the Lord Jesus. He's the one who spoke through the Lord Jesus. He's the one who healed the sick through our precious Lord Jesus. He's the one who gave him the power to endure the cross. He's the one who raised him from the dead. He's the one who gave the church instructions through the Lord in the book of Acts. And he will be the one who will destroy Antichrist one day by his mighty power. God, the Holy Spirit, who will establish the kingdom of Jesus on earth forever. Today, he is the active agent of the glorified Son of God. He is the comforter. He is the acting representative of the ascended Lord, accomplishing, accomplishing his redeeming purpose on the earth. So the work of God is not by the might of men. The work of God is the power of the Holy Spirit. It's by his spirit. So what is done by man will fail. What is done by the Holy Spirit always prevails. What man do fails. What the Holy Spirit does prevails. And today we need him to prevail because without his power, we cannot succeed. We cannot win, we cannot live victoriously. There's darkness out there, saints. Deep darkness right now, like Isaiah prophesied. Darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness the people. We're seeing it, aren't we? We need the Holy Spirit more than ever. We need to invite him, to welcome him daily, daily in our life, in our fellowship. A fresh and feeling daily of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Paul said, be filled. Stay in a place of continual infilling of the Holy Spirit. So he is Jesus without the limitations of the flesh. Hallelujah. And he can reveal what the Lord could not reveal to his disciples when he was on earth. In John 16, the Lord said, it is better for you that I go away. Because if I do not go away, the Holy Spirit will not come. Think about this, that the Holy Spirit can reveal 
what the Lord Jesus could not reveal while in the flesh. Because he is Jesus without limitation. He is Jesus without the limitation, limitation of the flesh because when the, when the Lord walked in the flesh on earth, he was limited. Today there's no limit because of the Holy Spirit. So his power today is limitless. I think the Lord said, how be it, it is better for you that I go away. Because if I don't go away, the Holy Spirit will not come. But when he comes, he will reveal all truth to you. What I cannot reveal to you, he will. He is the revealer of Christianity. Because Christianity is a revelation. And he is the revealer of that revelation. His name is the Blessed. Blessed Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Truth, John 14, 7. The Spirit of Witness, John 15, 26. He's the Spirit of Conviction, John 16, verse 7. He is the Spirit of Power, Acts 1, verse 8. He is the spirit of holiness, Romans 1.4. He is the spirit of life, Romans 8 verse 2. He is the spirit of adoption, Romans 8.15. He is the spirit of liberty, 1 Corinthians 3.17. He is the spirit of wisdom, Ephesians 1.17. He is the spirit of revelation. Again, Ephesians 1.17. He is the spirit of promise. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1.13. He is the spirit of love. Romans 15 verse 30. He is the spirit of meekness. 1 Corinthians 4.21. He is the spirit of a sound mind. 1 Timothy 1.7 He is also the spirit of grace. Hebrews 10.29 He is the spirit of glory. 1 Peter 4.14 He is the spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians 4.13 and he is the spirit of prophecy. Revelation 19 verse 10. He is God, the Holy Ghost. I just gave you a heart-to-heart -heart talk about the Holy Spirit in just a few minutes. He is all we need, people. Sweet Saint, He's all we need. Beloved, He's all we need. He is the blessed Holy Spirit. Can we welcome Him right, right now? Can we thank Him for His love and His power in our life? His presence? He's the one who has made Jesus so real to each one of us. The crowds 2,000 years ago, they saw the Lord but they did, they did not love him. Yet we love him, have we not seen him? They saw him in the flesh, yet they were not convicted. Today when we hear the word, we are convicted because the Holy Spirit is here now. Think about what I'm telling you. Without the Holy Spirit, there would be no Christian faith. Because without him, the reality of Jesus would not be in our life. Christianity is not about a distant Jesus who walked the earth 2,000 years ago. It's about him being in our hearts forever in us. And that is the work 
have the Holy Spirit.